Hey YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm going to show you guys something exciting to me that I just got in the mail. It's in this box right here. Now I have to put this together. It's for my yard. I was going to make this. This was my intention. I was going to make one of these. And then I saw the price of wood and lumber and I was like, that's going to cost me a few hundred dollars and probably a kidney. So I decided let me see if I could find one online, which I did for just a little over $100, which I'm pretty stoked about. So I'm going to put this together today, but I'm going to give you guys a tour of my yard. As you know, if you've been following me, I just bought my very, very, very first house ever. And I'm really excited with uh, backyard, front yard projects, landscaping, and just brainstorming dream projects, as I call it, because... I sometimes, when it comes to now my house, I have champagne taste on a beer budget, as they would say. Um, I try to do things as much as I can by myself. If you've noticed in one of my last videos, I moved some really big rocks around my yard. And another video before that, I pulled a bunch of um, shrubs out of, you know, that were lining my driveway. So I do as much as I can by myself. Um, so I can save money and put it into different projects. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my yard and everything that I have going on up in here. Like I got a million tabs open of like, ooh, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to. Come along, let's do it. Okay, you guys, it's sprinkling out here, but I don't care. So let me show you my yard from the street view, okay? So let me give you a look of what that looks like. Okay, here is my yard from the street. Here's a quick photo of what my house looked like before. You'll notice there's no fence on either side of my house and there's this canvas carport in the front. I have a sideways house. That's the only way I can describe it. It is sideways. And there's the driveway there. There's the neighbor's fence there. There's my truck. Now, what I bought in the mail today will cover over this sewer hole or cover, I should say, that I have in my yard. And I have one last rock to move. My grass is trashed because I guess the old homeowners used this side as their driveway. Here is my fence that I just installed. I didn't install it, I hired somebody. And my gates to the backyard. I love this gate. And then there's the start of my deck. Okay, so what I don't like on this side is I don't like my soil. It's just trashed. I gotta figure out what to do with that. Um, my trash cans, I want to get a like cover, like a small fence type thing, like an L-shaped thing to conceal those. I'm either gonna make it out of pallet wood or I might buy a vinyl one that matches my fence. That might look nicer. Um, I just refinished mulching. And I am totally addicted to pinwheels. You can find these at the dollar store for only a buck. And I went a little crazy with them because I put them over there too with my tree. And I used those pavers there around that tree that were actually around the sewer cap over there. Um, in my dreaming aspect, I would love to extend my driveway from here all the way to right here. Move the basketball hoop all the way over here. Because right now the basketball hoop, my son has a problem with the wires there. He's a little bit older, so when he shoots, um, he hits the wires occasionally. All right, my walkway to my sideways house. <laughs> so this is technically my front entrance. And it's a little awkward when I bring in furniture this way with that 90 degree angle getting in. So I have some dream ideas. I'll insert them now. Isn't this farmer's porch just gorgeous? This is ultimately what I would love to do, but I know it's very expensive and in all due time, but that would be my dream option. Some other options I've come across are smaller variations of that, that I know that wouldn't be as expensive, but I definitely need to redesign my front entrance area. I also do not like this slate 
walkway, it was a pain in the butt when I was going to try to shovel and I obviously couldn't snow blow over this area so our walkway was continually filled up with snow. Okay, now we're by my front door and I have a little chain link fence going this way. I opted not to put a gate in yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with this front door area in time um, and with my budget I want to get rid of this. So I thought why put the money into getting a gate put here when I probably will be taking it down. And also I have a twin bed here that was for sale or it is for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Thank you Josh and Joy for standing me up this morning. I hauled it outside and had it ready for you and no word. I loathe Facebook Marketplace. Um, here's my scrap wood pile. I put all the tree stumps that I'm digging up over here because I don't know what to do with them. So they're right there. So now we're technically in my backyard. All right, you guys remember this area here? This is where I pulled all those old tree stumps out. And then I also moved the rocks to line my driveway. Um, that was my daughter's ninth birthday gift when we first moved in. She loves her trampoline. Um, I'm trying to sell this dog house because Biscuit's only five pounds and he really doesn't come in the backyard. So that's for sale too, 75 bucks. Someone come take it, please. Um, so my backyard, not too shabby. I like it. There's just some things I want to do. Okay, so this area here, you guys. <laughs> so this is my nemesis area. Now, what we opted to do just for this year, um, when I first moved in, there was a hot tub here and it was left on by the previous owners and thankfully I caught it in time thankfully to my friend Steve thank you Steve um, it was on for five days continuously and my electric bill was $87 so that made a really quick decision that I want the hot tub gone plus it was older and had a little crack on the bottom of it and I just didn't want it so that's why I have this weird cement slab back here so I'm gonna turn the camera around and you can see what I've done just to kind of make it look prettier Okay, my nine-year-old daughter helped me with this project. These posts were red. We painted them white. We added some cheap solar caps to them. I got some pretty hanging baskets from Walmart, added a bird feeder, a little wind chime, and um, brought some patio furniture that was in the basement up here in this spot. And just added some fun little touches just to make it prettier than what it was. I do not know what I'm going to be doing with this space, but I couldn't handle looking at it any longer um, for this spring and summer. So that's what I did in the meantime. And to do all of that, um, I was just at about $100. My dream area is redoing my deck so like I said before the cost of lumber and everything I got a quote to redo the deck with um, pressure treated wood this is about 410 square feet along with that area over there and with the railings um, about 9300 I just got a fence so that's not gonna happen right now but um, I got taped down to show what would it look like if I trimmed the deck just a little bit, got rid of these stairs over here on the side, and just had 
um, stairs coming off the front and then just keep those side stairs over there by the patio window. I'm liking that. Um, that's just a thought. So that's another thing on my wish list that I'd love to have done. Um, things that I'm doing right now, I'm planting my very, very, very first garden. Wish me luck. Um, I got these galvanized eight by four garden beds. I got three of them. So I'm putting one here and then two more over here. You can see I have to open those boxes yet and get those set up. Um, I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video. I am learning quite a bit. I'm going down a rabbit hole, no pun intended, on how to garden. Um, so I'm gonna do the lasagna method. How many know about that, the lasagna method, when it comes to layering my garden bed? So um, I'm gonna get this, those going in the next week with the help of my daughter. So that's the side of this, this is the side of my house over here with the patio door. This gets great sun, so that's why I opted to put the garden beds on this side. And then we're back to the double gate doors over here. And can you see Biscuit? He follows me around <laughs> in all the <laughs> in all the doors and the windows. Hey, buddy! Um, so here we go up on the deck here. And I hate, hate this blue color. I hate it. Hate it. Um, and my shutters are this blue color, so that is going to be another project. I wanted to make my own cedar shutters. Again, you guys, why is lumber so expensive? So look how faded and bleh those are. So I think my best course of action is going to be remove those, maybe spray paint them black, just to get me through um, this next year until I figure out what the heck I'm doing. Maybe add shutters to this side of the house. Again, I have a sideways house, so there's really not a front, but I can tell you I hate the blue shutters. So I think I'm going to spray paint those in the coming weeks, along with painting my bulkhead black. I think that'll tie it in. I really like, you know, my fence is white um, and the gate on the other side has black latches. I think that'll just look sharp. Okay guys, I am going to wrap up the tour of my yard, but there you go, you can kind of see a pano view. That's my fence that I put up along with my shed. Ooh, that's another thing on my wish list. I want a new shed. That one's like plastic and oh, we'll go over there in just a second. I'll show you that real quick. Um, so the fence that I put up was, or is 176 feet long along with the double gates over there. Um, so. I love that that's up. And my neighbors already had their fence put up. I just matched it and I used the same contractor. So it looks fabulous. Okay, so let's go down and I'm gonna show you the shed, the fire pit, and the little tree house. Okay, this will make you laugh. Um, so when the fence guy was out here, he thought the tree house was kind of cool. So he came over and he, take a look, he took a look at it <laughs> underneath. <laughs> Um, whoever did this, previous homeowners or whomever, they screwed the actual tree house to the tree. To the tree. So what do you think is going to happen as the tree starts to grow? Um, it's already getting loose, the columns, because they're lifting off the ground. <sighs> deep breaths, Bethany, deep breaths. Um, so I have to figure out what to do with this tree house. It's cool, I love it. Honestly, do you know what I really wanna do? Oh, I want to install a zip line from up here right to the trampoline. How cool would that be? Oh my gosh, so cool. Um, again, another little dream thing that I'd love to do. Um, but that's not very expensive. Um, here, I'm gonna turn my camera around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So behind me, I have an armory. Yes, an armory back there. And then it's just woods and then there's a river over here. So it's very, very quiet. I love it. There's my fire pit. Um, the only thing I did with this area is I added some more pavers to make the fire pit a little taller and I added a dome covering, which is awesome. I feel a lot safer having um, fires back here. Um, I want to remove that wood portion extension by the shed. Um, just want to get rid of it. Hey, you guys, look, I got lumber. Anybody want some? Um, I could make some money off that, couldn't I? 
Um, and then I want to get rid of the shed and add like a nice wooden one. Again, all in due time. Um, and then there's my beautiful, beautiful fence. Look how nice that looks. So there's a tour of my yard. Okay, you guys, there concludes the tour of my yard. Give me some suggestions. I'm open to it. Tell me what I should do. What should I should, should do next? Any cheap ways? I know I'm asking for a lot um, to jazz up certain spaces. Um, again, I'm a first time home, homeowner. I'm learning as I go. I'm trying to do as much as I can by myself. Um, so I'm open to hearing what your thoughts are after, I, after you've seen everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I know I don't have a very fancy place, but I love it because it's mine and I guess that's all that matters, right? Okay, you guys, stay tuned to see what I am building. I got everything out of the box. Here's your hint. Come on, I just gave it away. All right, I will show you at the end here what I'm building. Okay, you guys, I put together the wishing well. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay, a couple things that I need to go do in regards to it. I need to get some soil and put like a little flower in the little hanging bucket. I want to do that. And then I need to get like 12 pavers to put around it. And then I'm going to spray it with this, some spar urethane. It's specifically designed for the outdoors. Um, and it's in a clear satin. It's by Minwax. So I'm going to spray it with this. I noticed when I was putting it together, the stain was getting all over my hands. I, and so I know there's not a finish on it and I just want to make sure it's going to last outside here in the elements, especially in New Hampshire. Um, I'll probably bring it in during the winter time, but any other time um, during the seasons I'm going to leave it out and then just decorate it accordingly to, you know, the holidays and the seasons. So I'm really happy with this purchase. It's really cute and then I'll put up some close-up photos of it when I'm finished.